Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're here at Coleman Cadillac in Lawrenceville, New Jersey, and we've got our first brand new Cadillac on the channel. This is it, this is a 2024 Cadillac Lyric Sport 3. Top of the line, all the bells and whistles in this battery electric vehicle Lyric. So we're gonna check this out and you can tell me if this is that premium brand battery electric vehicle that you would buy. So let's dig in. The front end of our Lyric, I love the crystal white trico paint against the gloss black. Let me know how you feel about that. Cadillac badge in the middle, functionality in the grill down below to keep cool air coming across the battery packs. And I love the light housing we have here where we have our, our directionals up top and then our DRLs and headlights in kind of a waterfall fashion. Looks really good. As we come around the front of the grill on the Lyric, come up to our wheel and tire setup. Now, we have a 22 inch machined aluminum alloy wheel. The color of the wheel is called After Midnight, Cadillac badge on the center cap. Now these wheels are wrapped in Michelin Primacy all season tires, 275 on the width, a 40 series sidewall 22s, all four corners, all wheel drive and all wheel drive or dual motor is an option on this Lyric standard is a single motor on the rear axle. But I do love the shape of this vehicle with that sport back design. Looks really, really good, I think. As we move in closer, we have the Cadillac emblem on the front fender, and that is the charge port door right there. Gloss black side view mirror with LED turn signals and 360 degree view cameras. We do have the door handles. They're sticking out now because the car is open but they will go flush when you're moving on down the road. Up top, we do have a roof spoiler coming off the top. Black roof, shark fin antenna, panoramic moonroof. The rear end of our Lyric, no rear wiper on the Lyric. It's got a, like a sport back design, designed to allow the, allow the air to flow over the roof in underneath that roof spoiler and off the back with nothing getting in its way. We do have a bit of a kick up there for a rear spoiler, LED lighting all the way around on the back of the Lyric, gloss black down below, and we do have functional side venting near those tail lights on either side of the tailgate. Again, the channel air down through the vehicle, get it out, make the vehicle more slippery through the air to increase range. Moving on in, we have the Lyric badge looking good. And then over here, the 600E4 for all wheel drive on this Lyric. Let me know what you think. Under the hood of the Lyric, not much to look at except for some beauty panels, but we can fill up our windshield washer fluid from underneath here. And we do have the Cadillac crest here on this panel. But basically, what do we have going on here? We have 102 kilowatt hour lithium battery pack mated to two electric motors and a one speed direct drive transmission. 500 horsepower, 450 pound feet of torque. The Lyric can tow up to 3,500 pounds. Zero to 60 per the car and driver. Estimate is 4.6 seconds. MPGEs, 96 in the city, 81 on the highway, 89 combined. And you can go up to 307 miles on a full charge in this Lyric. We are at the charge port door for the Lyric. Hope to open it on up. All you gotta do is hit the Cadillac emblem and it pops on down. There you have it. You got your level two and your DC fast charge. So on a full charge, we're looking at up to 307 miles of range on this dual motor setup. Of course, that all depends on weather, terrain, and your driving habits. Now, charging time is at a level two charger at home. To get to a full charge, you're looking at about 10.7 hours. DC fast charge, what you can do is you can add up to 77 miles of range in only 10 minutes. So it does have a pretty good charge rate on the DC fast charge capability. So let me know what you think about those numbers. And to close it up, all you gotta do is hit this button up here on the top right. And she closes back up for you, nice and neat. Before we get into the interior, you're gonna wanna know, Mike, I need the magic question, how much? All right, well, the 2024 Lyric Sport 3 base price is $69,695. Now, after options and a destination and delivery charge of $1,395 from Cadillac's Spring Hill, Tennessee assembly plant, we have a total MSRP from the factory 
of $81,405. So let's check out the interior. Starting with the driver door panel, move on in. We're going to have black soft touch up top. And then down below, we're going to have open pour wood in and around your gloss black controls. So what do we have here? Well, you have three-stage heated seats, and you can heat the seat back or the whole seat, three stages each, three-stage ventilated seats, and they are tied into your climate system. So that's a nice touch. Two memory seat settings, full power with lumbar, and this is your massage function. And I'll show you how that works when we check out our infotainment system. Then we have the Oxford Stone Napa Leather, beautiful with the stitching, 19 speaker AKG sound system in here. We do have gloss black on the switch gear, so be very, very careful for fingerprints and scratches. And of course, we do have our power fold mirrors in this Lyric. Very nicely done. Moving on down, nice large foot box bed pedal brake and accelerator. The carpeted floor mats are in here. And then we have our Cadillac door sill plate with the picture of your Lyric that lights up to welcome you to the vehicle. And here is the Oxford Stone Napa leather with garnet piping. Looks absolutely stunning. Headrests nice and soft. Bolstering nice and forgiving. Insert design as well. Really well trimmed seats. The front passenger door panel, same action as the driver with the use of materials and different touch points and textures. We do have the massage seat, but no memory seat for the front passenger now. Soft touch up top, some chrome in and around our heat and air vents. And now to open the glove box, well, you got to go into your infotainment screen and go to controls and then hit glove box release. And down comes your nice large glove box, then you can just push it back up. Infotainment system, what we're looking at here is Cadillac's Google Assistant, but it's 33 inches. So it's one sc curved screen that has your infotainment and your digital instrument cluster, and it comes all the way across the front of the dash. So as we concentrate on this, my apologies for the strobing or the color change. That's how the camera lens is picking up this Google Assistant system but it does have wireless CarPlay Android Auto. Look at that pinch to zoom capability. Looks beautiful here on your maps and nav. But let's show you where you got some action. First of all, here we go with our screens and we can swipe them all the way across. So let's start at the screen one. The home screen, you can edit that to figure out what content you wanna put up there. We move across to screen number two. There's your maps, Bluetooth, your phone, your Google Assistant, Play Store, Camera, Climate, Auto Park Assist. So they got you covered there. Move to the next page, your vehicle settings, vehicle status, Wi-Fi hotspot, charging, ambient lighting, controls, and all that good jazz. So let's start with our ambient lighting. You can go ahead and link it to your drive mode right here, or you can go ahead and select a custom color, and then you can go in and with the wheels, select which kind of accent and glow you would like in your ambient lighting. So they got you covered there with that. So I do like that. Now, you got your charging, which is going to take you in and tell you where you are as far as your charge goes. And if you want to set up a charging schedule, you can do that. So they got you covered there. And then we can go to our controls. Boom, controls. Now, a lot of this stuff is done in here rather than outside the vehicle on the dash. So your child safety locks on off. Like I showed you, your glove box release is in here. Adjusting your dome lighting is in here, turning it on or turning it off. Power window lockout, your camera if you want to see that, auto high beams, auto park assist, park assist, your motion sensors, and then you can go to more controls, and that's where you have your doors and windows, lights. That's where you're going to turn your headlights on, off, or set them on auto. Do your auto high beam adjustment and your dome light adjustment all inside here. No more switch on the dash for your headlights it's inside the infotainment system so that's where you have that action and if you noticed and i go to more controls universal remotes that's where your garage door programmables are going to lie they're not going to be up on the overhead console or on your sun visor any longer they're in here 
So then we can go to our uh, themes where we can set up a gauge cluster theme that we would want. And you can purchase more themes from your mobile app. How about that action? And then we got our drive modes. And our drive modes, again, are going to be controlled in here as well. And we have touring. We have sport. We have snow and ice. And we have an individual mode that you can go ahead and adjust how you want everything to do yourself. So tour is kind of like normal. There you have it. But I do like how everything changes in here. It looks pretty cool. I love the snowflakes in the blue. That looks good. And that's where you're going to see drive mode action right in there. There's your Alexa. You're my Cadillac. So we got you all set there, podcasts and news. A lot of stuff going on inside the system now. Without a doubt, we can go back and there's our map again. Now, we want to take a look at our backup camera. We hit reverse. There it is, 360 degree view with trajectory, super clear. And you can adjust how you want to see it, whether it's standard, whether it's your overhead view. There you go. Or whether it's a side view. They got you covered or back to your standard view. And there you go. We put it back in the park and we get it back together. So that was a lot to go over, but I want to make sure I covered it as much as I could. There's your push button start right there. We have separate controls for our dual climate. So I do like that. And I apologize if you hear it running. It turned out to be like 85 here in Jersey today. It was supposed to be like 72. So I got the air cranking. Now down underneath here, we have a nice area for storage. Look at this. Garnet colored leather insert where you can slide your phone or some other doodads in there. That's really great attention to detail by Cadillac. So we come down further. We have Chrome. It says Cadillac on it with a USB-C. And again, a storage area below your center console. So it's a floating center console in the Garnet leather. Looks beautiful. Two cup holders with that beautiful chrome trim, trim ring. Look at this, Cadillac key fob looking beautiful. Lock, unlock, remote start, pop the tailgate, and your panic button on the back. You got the Cadillac emblem, looks gorgeous. And then here, you got your volume, and then you have the dial to work the dash if you don't wanna use the touch screen. So they got you covered there. Wireless charging pad, vertically mounted right there with another USB-C. Then we open up our center console, which is nice and soft. Another USB-C and a 12 volt. So they got you covered for connectivity. That's for Cadillac steering wheel, nice leather wrap wheel. This up here, this band that looks like gloss black, that is your super cruise. That'll light up green when you're on your uh, adaptive cruise and you're on a highway that is programmed in the super cruise and you're paying for it. And then you can go hands free. So it's like autonomous driving. Leather wrapped horn button with the Cadillac badge. Nice round bottom wheel. Plenty of room to get in and out. We got some brushed aluminum accents to lift up the wheel. Now we do have gloss black on the wheel, but we have our adaptive cruise as well as your heated steering wheel on or off right there. And that is your super cruise on or off right there. On the right side, you're going to have your music, seek, telephone voice commands, and controls for the digital portion of your dash. We do have one paddle to adjust the level of regen braking, one pedal driving, or drive it like a normal vehicle. And then we have our turn signals, high beams, and wind uh, front wipers. And then on the right, you have your gear shift to go through this one-speed direct drive EV transmission and to put, to put it in the park. You're going to push this button in on the end. So that's how they have that action going. And then down here on the left, you do have your your uh, parking brake set or unsets electric then you have your lane keep assist on off auto vehicle hold on off right and dim the dash and we do have an electric tilting and telescoping wheel with easy exit so that's a nice touch as well and then we have the digital part of the dash so one half like i said was your infotainment now we're on the dash side but what i really do like it's telling me that my seat buckle isn't Buckled. Well, I'm not going anywhere. So let me see if I can turn that off. There we go. So there we, there we have it. Now, what I do like here is that we have this action over here where we can go ahead and set up how we want our instrument cluster to look. Right now it's on energy. Let's say I want to go to map. I'll push map. 
and now I get the, the map up here. So if I'm driving, I can just look right down here, no problem. I can go to assist and have my assistance technology go uh, up, or I can go clean and just have my speedometer up, or go to gauges, and I can have my gauges up. So nicely done right there here by Cadillac. And then obviously, you can go ahead and bring up something else you may want to see, your radio favorites, your volume, and all that good stuff. So it's really easy to use, and I like the different, uh, I like these this menu over here where you can bring up different things. That's a nice touch right at your left hand fingertips. And since I'm a lefty, that works for me. Your overhead console, there you go. SOS button in case there's an emergency on the road. OnStar, four-way hazards. Dome lighting, you don't have to do anything. Just open up the door. The chimes go off. Your LED lights come on. Close the door. They will dim out. Piece of cake. And then here's the controls for the shade and for the glass. So we can open the shade. One touch. And our shade will go all the way back over our rear seat passengers. Could be a little faster, but it gets, it gets back there. And then, once that's back, we can open up the glass. Wind buffeter comes up. There it is. And the glass goes on back. And then, we want to close the glass. One touch back. Nice and easy. And you notice the glass doesn't make hardly any noise at all. It's nice and quiet. That's a nice luxury touch from Caddy. And then here comes our shade back all the way. And then we push it a second time. There we go. Sorry about that. I pushed it one too many times. And now it comes on back. But it could be a little bit faster, I think. And then our sun visor with vanity and lights. Does it slide? Yes, it does. And rear view mirror, standard rear view mirror. Hello. Hit the magic button. Digital rear view mirror right there. And if you do want to make adjustments to it, there's a button right underneath here. You push it in. That turns it on. Now it'll let you adjust the exposure. Or you can hit it again. Now it's going to let you, let you adjust your zoom or zoom in or zoom out and your height of the camera up or down. So it's right in your line of sight. So beautifully done. And I love the digital rear view mirror. That's a great touch. Getting in the back seat of our Lyric, I have the seat set for my driving position. We'll just hop right in. Nice flat roof, so no problem getting in. And once I'm in, plenty of room for my head, shoulders, and knees at five foot eleven. And then look at all the look at all of it. And then we got leather all the way down, seat pocket behind the driver and the front passenger. In the back, I got rear climate right here, and then I got three stage heated seats. There we go, three stage heated seats for both outboard passengers in this back row bench. But it might have been nice to have ventilated seats back here as well at the price point that we're, that we're at. Let me know what you guys think. Back door panels, same as the front, looking beautiful. Nice use of materials and textures. Back seats, same beautiful Napa leather with the insert design. And then armrest, super soft, two cup holders, so they got you covered back here, and you're going to say, Mike, what about connectivity? Well, they got you covered too, because underneath our command center, we have the Cadillac right here, two USB-Cs, and a home power source. So not to worry, Caddy's got you covered here in the back of this Lyric. Getting in the cargo area of the Lyric, you can pop it from the driver door panel, you can pop it from your key fob, or you come to the back and you just have to push your Cadillac badge. You push it. Beeps a couple of times. Nice electric assist on the way up. Nice electric assist on the way down using this button here. And now with the back seats up, we're looking at 28 cubic feet of cargo space in the back of this Lyric. We move on in underneath here. What action do we got? We got another area for storage down below. So they got you covered there. LED lighting in the back. We got our leather tonneau cover, and that is removable if you don't want it in. And then again, more LED lighting, a 12 volt, oops, 12 volt here in the back. And then you can drop your rear seats from back here, which I always like. So here we go. You can hit the button, down the seat goes. Hit the other side, down the seat goes. And now, with the rear seats down and that tonneau cover out, we're looking at 60.8 cubic feet of cargo space in the back of this Lyric. All right, here we go. Lyric 
window sticker will zoom on in. 2024 Lyric Sport 3, crystal white Oxford stone, Ultium platform for Cadillac. Standard equipment left to right. Then we start our options, the Napa leather package, propulsion package, sunroof, paint, total vehicle MSRP, 81,405, fuel economy estimates, made in the United States, take this baby out for a spin. All right, we are heading down the road in this 24 Lyric Sport 3. Top of the line action in the Lyric range for 2024. Battery electric vehicle. And right off the bat, great visibility out the windshield, side glass, side view mirror. Obviously, the digital rear view mirror gives you an unobstructed view out the rear of the vehicle. Blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, lane keep assist, pre-collision, all that action is in this Lyric EV. And it's, it's really quiet in here. Now you may be able to hear the air conditioning on because it's really warm out today, but I'm getting very little noise from the outside. I barely hear the cars outside of me. I'm not getting any wind noise so far. Massive sound deadening in here, obviously, done by Cadillac to keep it quiet, as a luxury premium EV should be. Obviously, you don't have to worry about engine noise. We don't have an engine. Uh, but it is really, really quiet. Really quiet. I do like that quite a bit, because if I'm in a vehicle like this, in a Caddy, I expect a level of luxury and refinement that I'm certainly getting from this Lyric. And the attention to detail on the interior with the Napa leather, the Garnet leather, and the Garnet piping on the seats, the open pour wood, the, the aluminum trim on our speaker covers, the 19 speaker AKG, AKG sound system, massage seats for the front passengers, just makes it so much better to be in. The seats, very comfortable very very comfortable not too poofy but it feels good and of course on a long trip if your back's starting to get a little cranky at you you just turn on your massage seats and boom we'll turn them on now we see them come up here on the screen right now I'm getting a nice lumbar massage feels good And now this comes back up while my massage takes place. Beautifully done. Really, really like how this is set. The one thing I don't have in here that I would like to have had technology-wise is a head-up display. Uh, there is not a head-up display in here. It would have been nice to have one. That's not a, a make-or-break deal for me, though. But I know a lot of people like them. Now, let's check out our brakes. Nobody's behind us. Hands off the wheel, nice and straight, no problem. Then we take off. The dual motors kick in, and it's a nice, even power band up and up to speed, which I like. Let's check out our handling. Now, obviously, this is going to be a low to lower center of gravity with the batteries on the bottom of the vehicle, but it does okay a little wallowing in the turn but not bad as far as that goes steering is very tight there is no play in the wheel but the steering's fairly light like you would want in an suv so that's good and then we'll stop and we'll take off again and down the road you go no problem and just a nice even pull does it throw me back in the seat? Well, I haven't done that yet. We'll do that when we go from a standstill. But a really nice even pull to the wheel on this Lyric. Now, turning radius time, we're looking at 19.8 feet. 
that's a good number considering we got 275s on here. So let's check that action out. Wait for this guy to pass me. And then we'll check this action out. Here we go. And it whips right around. No problem at all. Whoa! <laughs> Just not used to the steering. Now we'll take off, see what she does. Oh yeah, now we're pushed back into the seat. And down the road we go, like we're taking off on a, you know, one of those colonial vipers from Battlestar Galactica through the chute. Let's try that action again. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one, launch! Yeah, that's badass. And I don't know if you saw that, but there's a big rat snake in the road. How about that action? Snakes in Jersey. I heard of snakes on a plane, snakes in Australia, snakes in Jersey, baby. That's what happens when it's all of a sudden 85 out. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, it does all right. So let me know what you think. If you're in the EV game, is this premium branded Lyric the action you want to be in, that you want to be seen going down the road in? Or this is not for you and you would go somewhere else with your hard-earned EV money. Let me know. Or if you're currently in a hybrid or a gas-powered car, based on what you've seen in this review, would you consider going EV with the Lyric? I'd love to hear from you on that as well. Put that in the comments. But I do want to thank Coleman Cadillac here in Lawrenceville, New Jersey, for uh, providing the channel access to this 2024 Cadillac Lyric Sport 3 for a review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.